I'd just like to say Happy Mother's Day to all you mothers out there, whether you have biological children or not. I count it a joy to be able to come to you today on Mother's Day because God is good and God is good all the time and all the time God is good. And so this is Pastor Gail Mullen at Victorious Life Christian Center. I'm just going to invite you to join me for about 15 minutes on our mini message. And this morning I'm going to talk about God's Word is our anchor. And uh, God is faithful to His Word and the Word is our only foundation that's unshakable, unmoving, that it stays the same regardless of what happens in our lives, regardless of what happens in our society, regardless of what happens in the world. God's Word stands sure and it will be the same. It was the same from the beginning and it will stand the, stay the same at the end of time. And so, uh, in all we do, let us not forget God's Word and to take it by faith and to stand on God's Word because His Word will never ever fail you. His Word will never uh, leave you destitute, but God is faithful to do all things that's in His Word for you in your individual life. There's a scripture I'd like to say, and I'm going to be reading this afternoon from John 1, uh, verse 1 through 5, and I, I would just like to interject on the faithfulness of God. There's three things. You know, I always say that God can do anything but fail. Well, there's three things that God cannot do. One, God cannot lie. God cannot die, and God cannot go against His holiness and lead you into negative temptations. So those are things that God cannot do. So we can't blame those things on God because God doesn't lead us into temptation, but He delivers us from temptations and from every adversity that the enemy tries to throw in our path. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the scripture I'm going to read right to you right now is, First John, I mean, sorry, John 1, verse 1 through 5, and it's the New King James Version. And it says, In the beginning was the Word, which is the Logos, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with Him. All things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of man. Speaking of Jesus, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. And so we find when we read this scripture, it's letting us know that Jesus is the word speaking to God uh, for us and speaking from God to us. And so the word is our anchor. The main thing I'm going to be talking about this morning is our anchor, because the word is our anchor. Um, my husband and I, we like to go on cruises. I, I love cruises. I tell everybody, if you've never been on a cruise, you've got to do it at least, you've got to experience it at least once. Uh, it, it's so phenomenal. And so um, the reason I thought about this is because on, on our cruise ships that we've been at periodically, when we dock into, uh, get ready to dock, we hear the anchors going down. And I thought about the importance of an anchor. I thought about in the, in the Bible days, uh, the anchor was very important because first it started on dry land and what I mean by that is under the Roman persecution the saints the, the, the saints that was their code for this is the house of a Christian it was a safe it was a sign of safety and also it was a sign of the cross and so whenever a, a Christian had to find shelter they knew that the the password what you didn't need a password you just need an emblem and that was the anchor because the anchor represents strength the anchor represents uh, the cross and it was a safe place for them to shelter down and so I just like to say that God was God designed his word to provide a haven and a guidance for us in the midst of our storm uh, we are in the midst of a storm we are in the midst of this virus and you know, and God wants us to make sure that our anchor holds. God wants us to make sure that, that the anchor within us holds. And it's based on the Word of God. You know, the Word of God will keep you. The Word of God will carry you. And the Word of God just don't apply to your life in the good times. But even in the good times, the Word of God stands forever. And the Word of God is always creditable. And so when opposing forces come against you, when opposing forces come against your boat, your ship, lower your anchor and stand strong 
What are some of the opposing uh, forces that we face? Well, definitely financial, financial forces we're facing, opposing forces, uh, physical, mental, emotional, and social. These are some of the forces that we in our lives, we are facing. But no matter what happens, beloved, I just want to tell you, set your anchors on God's word because God will not leave you astray. He will never leave you nor forsake you. The word says he's with us always, even until the end. And so you can trust God's word. When you can't trust the word of anybody else or anything else around you, you can trust God's word. And so what do you do when uh, things seem like they're going awry? What do you do when everything seems to be upside down? And what do you do when you don't know which way to go? Stand still and say, God, I'm in your care. I place this in your hands, and you are a God that hears me when I pray. You are a God that answers me when I pray. And so God is faithful. That's what you do when times get hard. Sometimes people say, well, oh, that's just, that's just a, a, an excuse. No, friends, let me tell you something. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he changes not. And so you can pick up your word, the word of God, the Bible, and read through there the many times that God delivered his people. Even in our time, you see deliverance that God has delivered his people. And you're no exception. God can deliver you. For the people that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. That's what Daniel says. The people that know their God shall be strong and do exploits. And so, beloved, you have it in you to survive. But not only do you have it in you to survive, you have it in you to thrive. It's just not a survival, but it's thrivable. You have that inside of you because the greater one lives in you. The greater one lives inside of you. And so you, are come, you can be an overcomer, not a victim, not a victim, but a victor. Things come your way that, yeah, it can throw you into a panic mode and make you feel like a victim. But beloved, when we stand on the word of God and say, I'm standing regardless of what I see, regardless of what I feel, I'm not moved, I'm not shaken, but I'm going to stand firm. I'm going to allow God's word to be my anchor. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that God is able to take care of every situation that I give to him. And so that's why I say this this morning, that God is our anchor. And the anchor is the word of God. Without the word of God, we have nothing. And God tells me that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he changes not. God is ever faithful. God is ever ready. God is always able to move by his spirit. He's able, as we like to say around here at church, God is always able to show up and to show out. God is always able to make the crooked path straight because that's the kind of God we serve. That's the kind of God we serve. We don't have to think, well, maybe, perhaps. No, you don't have to think. You don't have to doubt. Doubt is, is a state of fear. And when we doubt God, let us not think that we will get anything from God as far as our prayers being answered. But when we pray, we believe by faith. Faith is trusting God. Faith is trusting the word of God. And so, you know, uh, my husband and I were talking. We put faith in everything. Everything that we can see with the naked eye, we put faith in. We even put faith in our airplane pilots. I know uh, before the virus, we did a lot of traveling back and forth. We didn't, we, we, we sat back on that plane, buckled in, and we relaxed. And most of the time we went to sleep. Why? Because we had faith and that pilot, that we were going to get to where we were going, we were going to lift up, and we were going to land safely. Well, beloved, I want to tell you something. Allow God to be your co-pilot. Allow God to, to uh, get you where you need to go. Allow God to cause you to rest in Him, because you can. That's the kind of God we serve. We serve a God that can cause us to rest in Him. And so I just want to say that when, when things just seem like they're going upside down, trust God. Your boat is not going to sink. With God, with the Son of God, with Jesus on board your boat, you're not going to sink. But you're going to keep on going on, and you're going to be successful. And like I said, you're going to thrive. 
You're going to thrive in the midst of, of all that's going on. And our governor has just opened up the first phase of, of, of things opening up. And I want to tell all the intercessors out there, pray, pray. Don't stop praying just because things are beginning to open up. And I would like to say, don't stop being safe just because things have opened up. Continue being safe. And at all, at all, at all times, continue to pray. Pray without ceasing because God hears you when you pray. And we need prayer. This pandemic is not over. But praise be to God, we know that we have a God that this does not take by surprise. We know we serve a God that hears us when we pray. And the prayers, the effectual, fervent prayers of a righteous man availeth much. In other words, pray, prayer gets the job done every single time. And so when you think about who is God, I was I was sharing a little something with my husband. I was sometimes I have these little uh, imagine imaginary flips in my brain. And I said, you know, I said, when I think about the awesomeness of God, I think about a sand, a grain of sand on the beach. And you put that under the microscope. And let's say that grain of sand is me. Okay, that's me, that grain of sand under the microscope. And outside of that microscope, God inhabits it all. And not only all, but he also inhabits the grain of sand. So you see, there's no way that we can put time on God because he created time. There's no way that we can put limits on God because he's limitless. Only thing we can do is to trust God. And so the scripture says, you know, it tells me that God is omnipotent. And that means that he's totally, totally in control of his creation and himself. The scripture I want to share with you is Isaiah 55 and 11, and it's in the Message Bible. And it says, so will the words that come out of my mouth not come back empty-handed. They will do the work I sent them to do. They will complete the assignment I gave them. Beloved, I want to take something. God's word will not return void. And whatever your, his assignment is for you, it's going to come to pass. I don't care what people say. I don't care how big it is. I don't care how small. I don't care what dimension it is. It shall come to pass. And so we find that God is omnipotent, omniscient, which means he is ultimate standard of truth. God is the ultimate standard of truth. And so what does that mean? It means everything that God does has a purpose. The Bible tells me in John 14, 6, and it's the New King James Version, it says, I am the Lord, and I, I'm sorry, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. And so what is that saying? It's saying that Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who died and shed his blood for us, is the way to the Father. And beloved, I want to tell you this, that Jesus has made the way for you and I. And maybe you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior. I want to invite you to accept him as your personal Savior. It's not how lofty you talk, but just a, a sincerity of the heart. Because God, that's what God looks at. You know, man looks on the outer appearance, but it's God that looks at the heart. And so, dealing with talking with God, dealing with the things of the Lord, it's a heart issue. And so... Put your heart into it, you know. And so it says there's nothing that God is unaware of. God was here before time. God created time. He took, created time for our benefit. He didn't need time. He's timeless. He's limitless. He's, he's, he, he's, he has no limits. But he created it for our benefit. And so he has unlimited knowledge. He's aware of everything. He has all understanding. And his perceptions are beyond our comprehension. We cannot comprehend the very things that God has in store. The scripture says in Psalms 147 and 5 in the New King James Version, God, great is our Lord and the mighty in power. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding, not our understanding, but his understanding is infinite. And so what does infinite mean? It means unending. It means limitless. That's the kind of God we serve. 
And then we serve a God that's omnipresent. That means, what does that mean? It means that no matter where you're at, God is there. You cannot hide from God. You know, there's a portion of scripture David wrote uh, in Psalms 139. If you want to read the awesomeness of God and how awesome God is, read Psalms 149 in your devotion uh, this week sometime, or even take parts of it. But read Psalms 139. It talks about how God is everywhere, how God is all-powerful, how God is all-knowing. David wrote that, and David had first-hand experience because of all the different things that he went through. He sat down and he pinned about how great God was and how great he is in the life, in the affairs of man. And so I invite you to read Psalms 139 when you get an opportunity. And so um, I just want to share this with you. There was, there was a song years and years ago, and the name of the song was In Times Like These. I'm not going to sing it by no means. You definitely don't want me to sing it. But I'm just going to read a couple stanza of it. And so again, before I even read that, I just want you to know that you, despite the rough waters, your boat might be in. Despite what's happening, trust God and allow your anchor, which is the word of God, to hold you up. And so the t this couple stanza is, in times like these, you need a savior. In times like these, you need an anchor. Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus. He's the only one. Be very sure, be very sure, your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. I'm not going to uh, read the rest of the stanzas, but there's more. But I just want to tell you, beloved, in this season, don't lose heart. Don't cast your confidence away. Because when you keep your confidence in God, it will, it will deliver great results. And you will see the faithfulness of God. And whatever you need from God, just, just pour out your heart and talk to Him. Just like I'm talking to you. Just tell God. Because God loves to hear you when you pray. And so, like I said, God looks on the outer appearance, but God looks at the heart. It's a heart issue with God. And every one of us are independent. Every one of us God specializes on. You don't have to try to compare yourself with your neighbor, your mate, or whomever. God specializes on you. And God, because God is, is, is all-powerful, all-knowing, and everywhere, you can count on God when you can't count on nobody else. When you can't count on nothing else. When everything around you is shaken and things are so uncertain, you can count on God to give you a stability of heart and mind and to calm the storm that you would be facing at this present time. So in all of your ways, in all of your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path because that's the kind of God we serve. And you know, the Bible tells me he will never leave us nor forsake us. God is there at all times, 24-7 seven days a week. He's there. He'll never leave. He'll never forsake you. And he will answer prayer. So I thank God for this opportunity to come to you this morning. And again, this subject is, um, the subject is Christ is our anchor. The word of God is our anchor. And so just remind, remember that. And uh, as you go about your affairs this week, uh, today and happy Mother's Day again. But whatever you do, just realize that your anchor holds and it does grip a solid ground because it's the Word of God and you're anchored on the solid foundation, which is Jesus Christ. And you know, the Bible, I always like that scripture says, No good thing will he withhold from them that walk upright before him. In other words, when we put our petitions before God, God does not withhold from us. And so because of that, we can trust him, we can rely, and we can depend on God. Any time, any place, God is ever faithful. So beloved, I will see you next week, and I hope you enjoy your day. I hope you've got good plans going on. 
uh, remember the social distancing and just remember uh, to allow God to give you peace allow God to give you that that comfort that you need right now all right allow God to map your course embrace the Word of God this week beloved you know the Bible says his word I'm paraphrasing this his word I've hit in my heart but I don't miss the mark in other words his word I've hit in my heart that I don't become fearful that I don't become unsure that I don't that the his word I've hit in my heart so I don't want to draw back I don't want to quit but I want to keep on going I want to not only to survive but I want to thrive and in God all things are possible to them that believe and so till next time I see you God bless you and have a great day bye now